Hey guys, and welcome to this tutorial. I'm bringing the uh, Polygon Horse by Cinti Studios from Unity to Unreal 4 and giving it animations. So to start, you'll need to buy the, bo buy the Polygon Horse Pack on the Unity Asset Store, and uh, then you'll import it to a project. And then just go to the Model folder, right-click, Show in Explorer, and uh, just leave that. It's the FBX that we'll need to import to Unreal. And then do the same thing for the textures. Right-click, Show in Explorer, and you'll get the uh, link to the, um, to the files that we'll need. So I just have an Unreal project here uh, with the Polygon Nature Pack just to make it look nice. And um, I also have the PolyArt Deer Pack, which you can find here by Malvers Animations. The PolyArt Deer Pack is what we're going to use for the animations. And we'll just make a new folder and bring in the uh, Cinti Horse. So I'll call it Cinti Horse, and I'll load the uh, folder with the FBX. And we're going to do a few settings here. So we need Skeletal Mesh. And we need, uh, we might as well use TOA ref pose. I don't think it's necessary, but we'll put it on. And normal import method, uh, change it from compute normals to import normals and tangents. This one's important because otherwise the lighting gets really weird on the horse. And uh, we might as well also turn on force front x axis since the axi from Unreal and Unity are different. And then we'll just import that. And that's fine. And we will now import our textures. So I'll just make a new folder here. I'll just bring one in for the sake of the video, but you can use whichever one you like, or all of them. And we're going to right-click that, Create Material, and go into the Material, and we want zero metallic. And uh, Specularity, I think in Unity there's no Specularity, uh, so we'll leave that empty. Um, and for the Roughness, we want 0.5. That's what it's set to in Unity. And for Smoothness, I'm assuming that's the same for Roughness. I'm not sure entirely, to be honest since I don't use Unity too much, but it seems to look okay. So we'll uh, load our FBX here, and we'll just go into the skeleton, and uh, where's the, sorry, we'll go into the mesh and change it to the brick material. So we'll just save that. Now there's a few things we need to do to get the animations to work, but the horse itself should be working. Yep, looks good. Okay, so we have the horse in, now we need to retarget the animations to it. So what we're going to do is go into the deer, go into the meshes, and right-click the um, skeleton, and uh, right-click Create Rig, and OK, File, Save All. Now go back into the skeleton, select the rig, save, and that's good. Now we need to go to the horse, and uh, we're going to go into the skeleton, and we're going to select that deer rig. Now this is kind of annoying, but we're going to need to set a few of these. So just match them up. Um, there's no CG, there's no root, uh, it's a bit different, but there's CG, so I'm not sure if we leave this empty or add CG there, but we'll see how this works. If it doesn't work, we'll change it. But otherwise, we'll just connect all of these. Most of them match up for the most part. I know it's kind of boring to watch in the video, but you can just skip ahead on YouTube. Um, I don't really have good editing software. If anyone knows good like editing software to quickly edit something like not super complex movie software, something that's light, that would be good. Now there's no eyes on uh, the horse, so that's fine. We'll leave those. Oops. There's no finger as well, but we'll do our clavicle, upper arm, forearm. And, and then left thigh, cat, whoops, damn it, horse link, foot, and right thigh, calf, horse link, foot, and then the last one is tail. Connect that to the first tail. Now we can do file, save all, <coughs> excuse me. Now we will also need to rotate this dude, this horse, um, and set the uh, view pose. So we need to hit view pose and then uh, rotate. Oops, not like that. We got to select the root. I'm going to rotate him 90 degrees. Now I think um, this wasn't entirely straight when I tested this, so I think we're going to set this to 0.28. And we're going to rotate him back a bit. Normally it would be 90 degrees, but this horse isn't perfectly straight like that, so we'll do that. If 
file save all. <clears throat> and now, oh, one more thing we need to do, which is just go back into the skeleton and uh, set preview mesh, set to that to the Sinti horse, and then hit apply asset. And sometimes you need to kind of like mouse over it and then click it a few times to make it work. It's kind of weird. Make sure we did our pose. Oh, we never set our pose, so <laughs> my bad. Uh, just rotate this guy back 87 degrees. And then uh, retarget manager, modify pose, use current pose. We need to do that so that it, the pose lines up. So now we can go to our deer, and I'll start with idle. And to search for that, right click, retarget, duplicate, retarget. Make sure they look uh, similar. So if your horse is facing the other way, you probably didn't click uh, use current pose. And retarget. Bring him in. And let's just see how this looks. Looks good to me. All right, so now let's make a blend space so that we can actually make the horse like walk around and stuff. I'll even make it so that we can control him. Um, maybe I'll save that for the next video though, because uh, I'll do a part two, and this will be part one, and that's how to get the Senti horse from Unity into Unreal with working animations. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.